Thank you. Uh, buenas tardes. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, bonjour. I hope you had the chance to have some uh, strengthening food after a long uh, session starting at 8 or 8.30 in the several side events and the uh, previous official session. I would like to welcome you all uh, on behalf of FAO for this uh, family forestry uh, event. And it is uh, important to highlight that it is in the frame of the International Year of Family Farming that, as you know, is being celebrated this year. And it's a very important occasion also to highlight forests, as a part of the forest is uh, in owned and managed by families and by smallholders. And in that sense, uh, the celebrations uh, to this uh, site event and other mentally uh, celebrations that may follow during the year will try to highlight this bridge between forest and very especially family forest and the international year. And uh, of course, uh, the one that have arranged this meeting is the fa forest and farm facility that is hosted in FAO and that many of you know uh, that has been discussed in the plenary with uh, practically unanimous uh, support. We hope that the corresponding pledges start to align from next Monday on, that we can upscale the world of the facility from now 10 countries to more, more if there is such a degree of consensus. And I wanted just to, to express uh, the, the honor of the FAO to, to host the facility, the appreciation to the donors that are supporting the, the work of the facility in a not easy environment in the last years, and very especially for all the social architecture that is behind the work of the facility in the different countries. Many of you represented it, the different uh, communities, indigenous people and uh, smallholders that are behind the work of the facility and that we want to strengthen in the future. I don't want to further introduce because Eva Müller, the director of the division where the facility is hosted, has an opening remarks prepared. I just jumped from the plenary to another opening of another side event, but I wish you a very fruitful uh, um, lunchtime, and I think the side event goes in, including to the afternoon. So uh, I wish you a very fruitful uh, day today, and I encourage you to take advantage of the remaining six months to highlight during the International Year of, of uh, Family Farming the relevance of family forestry. I think it's a big, great chance to do it uh, and take advantage of it and you will have always the support of the uh, fa uh, for, Forest and Farm Facility team led by Jeff. So take, uh, a, have a good uh, lunch uh, we, uh, mixed with the meeting and a good fr fruitful afternoon. I look forward to the report of Eva and Jeff. Uh, muchas gracias, uh, Eduardo, for, for those uh, welcoming words. Uh, so, Eva, please. Good afternoon. Um, so, you get a double welcome from FAO this afternoon. Um, I have not prepared a welcoming speech. I just wanted to say a few more words. Um, one is that we are very pleased to uh, have in the organization of this event uh, an important partner with us, and that's the International For um, Family Forestry Alliance. We have Peter de Marsh here, and um, good to see you. And also many of the member organizations from Sweden, Finland, Europe, Mexico, and Kenya. Mm. What am I doing? And, uh, and the second point I wanted to make is uh, reference again to the International Year of uh, Family Farming. As you have seen coming in, um, the atrium is of FAO is full of information materials and promotion of this International Year of Family Farming uh, because this is very important to us, uh, being the specialized agency for food and agriculture. And um, we're also trying to, to show in the atrium the links between family farming on forests um, in the farmer's market that you have seen that offers products um, from agriculture but as well from forests. And I'm very pleased that uh, we have a colleague from OPC here. OPC is the, the unit in uh, FAO that has taken the lead in the coordination of the International Year of Family Farming Activities in FAO and he will also speak, say a few words. Um, this event builds on the momentum that was generated by the International Conference on Forest Producer Organizations that was held last November in Guilin and China. And um, we are pleased to release at this afternoon 
two important publications that draw from and build on the recommendations that came out of the conference. One is a policy brief, uh, a roadmap for strengthening forest and farm producer organizations, and that reflects directly the outcomes and recommendations from the conference and turns them into some kind of a guidance for policymakers. What policymakers should consider when to st in order to strengthen forest producer organizations. The second paper is um, a working paper called Making Change Happen. What can governments do to strengthen forest producer organizations? Because we recognize the important roles of government, governments, of course, the governments being the main partners of FAO as an intergovernmental organization. And finally, I would like to take the opportunity to uh, thank in particular the Swedish government for providing generous funding for this particular event and for allowing us to bring many people from the actual producer organizations the Forest and Farm Facility is working with in its partner countries and having them share their experiences and their perspectives with you this afternoon. So, Thanks again to Sweden for providing the funding for this and uh, I would also like to reiterate that this is a multi-donor partnership and I would like to thank also the other donors, um, the US, AgriCorps, Finland and Germany for their generous contributions to the Forest and Farm Facility. And I think I'll leave it at this and wish you all a nice event. Thank you. <laughs>